to the Justice Committee's third meeting of 2019. There are no apologies today. Agenda item one is consideration of two negative instruments. Multilingual standards forms, fees, Scotland regulations 2018, SSI 2018-373, and multilingual standard forms, consequential amendments, Scotland regulations 2018, SSI 2018 oblique 374. I refer members to paper one, which is a note by the clerk, and ask um, if members have any comments on either of these instruments. No. no. Um, is the committee therefore agreed that it does not wish to make any recommendations in relation to these two instruments? We are agreed, thank you. Agenda item two is um, feedback from the Justice Subcommittee on Policing on its meeting of 17th of January 2019. I refer members to paper two, which is note by the clerk. Following the verbal report, there will be an opportunity for brief comments or questions, and I invite John Finney to provide that feedback. Thank you, Convener. As you know, Convener, the Justice Subcommittee on Policing met on the 17th of January and we took evidence from the Cabinet Secretary for Justice on the policing aspects of the Scottish Government's draft budget for 2019-20. The Subcommittee asked the Cabinet Secretary to respond to the view expressed by the Scottish Police Authority and Police Scotland that the draft budget falls short of what the police service requires to meet the demands placed upon it. For example, the capital budget is insufficient to fund the agreed digital data and ICT strategy and maintain its fleet and estate. Uh, the Cabinet Secretary told the subcommittee that he expects the additional £12 million of capital funding to be used by Police Scotland to implement its digital data and ICT strategy. He explained that the strategy includes several individual elements and the cost of each element will not be known until Police Scotland produces a full business case for each. The remaining capital funding is to be used by Police Scotland to maintain its fleet and estate. The subcommittee queried whether it was sufficient, as it had remained the same as the previous financial year when Police Scotland overspent its fleet management um, by around £6 million. The Cabinet Secretary acknowledged that this was an issue and committed to consider how to address it before the next spending review. The Cabinet Secretary confirmed that the revenue funding would cover the increase in staff numbers uh, at the SP and agreed that the and the agreed police award for uh, uh, pay award for police officers. Sorry, the cabinet secretary also confirmed that due to ongoing uncertainty around Brexit, the current assumptions underpinning the overall budget for policing remain subject to review in light of Brexit-related planning being undertaken by the Police Scotland and the SPA. Um, we'll meet next on the 31st of January when we'll hear from the chief constable on the draft budget, budget and his priorities for 1920. Do members have any comments or questions on the report? I think it was a good evidence session and we certainly um, put on our concerns about the digital budget and the need to, to arm our police um, or to make sure they have the, um, the tools that they need. And we did flag up the, the fleet and the infrastructure, so I think it was a very worthwhile session. Uh, if there are no other comments, then that concludes the public part of today's meeting. Our next meeting will be on 29th January 2019. We will be seeking to finalise our stage one report on the management of Offenders Bill and we now move into private session. <laughs>